Ladies and gentlemen, you know, when I saw this story, I immediately thought, you know, they're just trying to open the door for these grown ass men up in here to marry children. You know, they want an alternative to marrying grown women. And that's what I'm seeing in this whole thing. But you can tell me what you think. I think a lot of them are fed up with their women and they're looking for something else to marry. And if they're not into same-sex marriage, they'll accept this, marrying a child. I mean, these things are going on. We already know that. But they're now just opening the door for all kinds of marriage and, and having sexual relationships with children. I really think this is what it's all about. But again, my subscribers will certainly tell me what you think. Um, this came out on NBC News. Louisiana lawmakers reject bill to set a minimum marriage age. Louisiana is one of more than a dozen states that have no minimum age to wed. Wow. I'm sorry. If I had a daughter and some 40-year-old man wanted to marry her and she was only like 12, we going to have a serious problem. I'm not down with this stuff. But, you know, ladies and gentlemen, we're in the time of desperation. And... You know, they're willing to do anything to get these low birth rate numbers up, including marrying and impregnating children. Louisiana lawmakers reject a bill on Sunday that would have set a minimum age to marry and instead rewrote the measure to allow those under age 18 to wed with a parent's blessing. The bill introduced in March by Democratic State Senator Yvonne Dorsey Colomb would bar anyone under the age of 16 from marrying in the state and block 16 and 17 year olds from marrying anyone more than four years older. When the House took up the bill, Several conservative Republicans whose party controlled the chamber balked at the idea, heavily rewriting the bill to allow those under 18 to marry with parental consent and requiring those under 16 to get judicial consent. The rewritten version passed the House 66 to 28 on Sunday and now goes back to the Senate. The state legislative session ends Thursday. So it's the Republicans that want this. Some Republican lawmakers argued that allowing those under 18 to marry would be beneficial in cases of pregnancy. So in other words, you don't get punished for impregnating someone under the age of 18. Just marry them and also touted the benefits of marriage. If they're both 16 years old and both consent to sexual relations and they're about to have a baby, why wouldn't we want them to be married? State Senator, um, I'm say State Representative Nancy Landry, a Republican said Sunday, just a public policy of the state. We want children born into wedlock if possible. Supporters of a strict minimum age to marry called the bill a child protection measure, saying it would keep teenagers from marrying sexual predators and citing marriage of teenagers to people decades older. But see, that's ultimately going to happen, ladies and gentlemen. It's ultimately going to happen. Across the country's laws allowing minors to wed 
are common, NBC News previously reported. Louisiana is one of 15 states with no minimum marriage age, according to uh, Tahiri Justice Center, I guess, um, a nonprofit that seeks to protect women and girls from violence. And a majority of the states allow 16 and 17 year olds to marry, often with consent of a parent or judge. Nearly a quarter of a million children were married in the U.S. from 2000 to 2010. Most of them girls marrying older men. That's exactly what's going to happen. I'm telling you, that's been happening forever in America. I mean, you can even pull up the pictures of these girls that are not even developed and have their breasts. And they're getting married to these 40 and 50 year old men. Okay, uh, experts note that child marriage can have negative effects on young women, causing social, educational, and economic strains over the course of their life. Wow. Ladies and gentlemen, I think this measure that Louisiana is doing is going to do nothing but open the door for all these old-ass men to start chasing after little girls. And like I said, marriage to children has, you know, grown people marrying children. That has happened in America since America been here. Okay. There are states that allow it. You just don't hear a lot about it. But some of you know, I mean, many of you know the state that you live in and what the requirements are. And I don't know. I, I just think that when you let a child marry a grown-up, you're opening the door to not only sexual abuse, but physical abuse. Because in many cases, that grown-up is going to feel like they need to discipline the child. And, you know, being that, I just don't like it. I'm sorry. I, if, if I don't have a daughter, I don't. But I can tell you, if I had a daughter, I would never want no grown-ass man coming after my child. We gonna have a big problem. Okay? Now, unfortunately, there are parents in this country that would allow that kind of stuff. They would. And ladies and gentlemen, I suspect that in the case of Art Kelly. I don't believe all those young girl parents weren't aware of 52-year-old Art Kelly and their teenage daughters. I think many of the parents were aware. And unfortunately, many of them are going to be fine with it. You know, I would be concerned about all of the psychological damage that this would have on a little girl with this grown ass man pursuing her, you know, all little girls cannot handle that. Probably the majority can't, you know, it's awkward. I, I even remember times when I was growing up, there were grown men making passes at me and I was still in elementary school. Y'all that stuff is sick. And psychologically it's creepy to a little girl. But look at the times that we're in and look at the timing of all of this stuff coming out. You know, we are approaching 400 years and it just seems like, whoo, it's, it's like everything is just exploding now. And you're about to see, you, you really, you're about to see any damn thing now <laughs> come out in this country. All I have to say is, ladies and gentlemen, just be prepared for anything and everything <laughs> in this particular time. But please tell me what you think. I don't know. I, I'm i not feeling good about this. And I sure hope it don't spread, but I have a feeling it will.
because of everything that's going on right now, especially with the birth rate. Please leave your comment and subscribe. Don't forget to hit on the notification bell and I'll see you on the next video. Peace, family.